to allow a very close preacher to come and share even at this 11 o'clock hour. He's not a stranger to us, uh, but he comes in the person of uh, Minister Maurice Mickles. Uh, Brother Mickles uh, drove all the way in this morning uh, from Birmingham, Alabama. I believe it was around 8.30, 9 o'clock. I gave him the call, and he says, uh, uh, you wouldn't understand it, but he says, Papa, I'll be there. Ah, yeah, <clears throat> right. And uh, he came Wednesday night and taught our youth Bible class, and he's here this morning. So let us receive him as he comes and shares with us the word of God and uh, what we're going to do for him. Uh, sometime I do it and sometime I don't, but we're going to take up a love offering after he has finished delivering the word of God. Uh, let us receive him in the, uh, his own way. Let's just call his name Minister Mickles. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's clap our hands and praise God today. For this is the day that the Lord hath made. We are glad and we're rejoicing therein. Amen. Come on, let's thank God for your great pastor today. Amen. Amen. Come on now, this is your pastor. If I could drive from Birmingham, you could put your hands together. Amen. And while we're clapping and praising God for the first lady of this church, let's thank God for Sister Hires. Uh, and to each of you in your respectable places, oh my God, I am rather confused as to what to preach. So if y'all will... Help me sing a little piece of this and I'll preach. Pass me not, O oh gentle say. Oh, hear my humble cry. Oh, wise, wise on us. Come on, let me hear you. Oh, do, do not pass. Let me at the throne of mercy. Let, let me at. That's right. Sound like church. Oh, find a sweet. Oh. Now let's ring it out like the old church. Oh, I'm crying, say, oh, say, I want you to hear my humble cry. Let's sing it one more time. Oh, I'm crying, say, oh, say, want you to hear, hear my humble cry. Oh, wow. I know what I'm going to preach now. 
2 Corinthians in chapter 12. 2 Corinthians in chapter 12. Amen. I want to look at several verses there in that passage of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, <coughs> verses 7, 8, 9, and 10. When you have it, say amen. amen. The word of the Lord from the New American Standard Bible says, because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, for this reason, to keep, my, keep me from exalting myself, there was given me a thorn in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me to keep me, once again, from exalting myself. Concerning this, I implored the Lord three times that it might leave me. And he has said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather boast about my weakness so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Verse 10, therefore, I am well content with weaknesses, with insults, with distress, with persecution, with difficulties for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. God bless his already blessed word. If you all will pray with me, I will preach and we can praise God together. All right. I want to look at this thought, I thank God for my thorn. I thank God for my thorn. One of the things I'm beginning, my brothers and sisters, to acknowledge and appreciate as I mature is that it isn't in the good times that really builds my relationship with God. All right. I, I don't really truly appreciate who God is until I find myself in a situation that I really have to know him right. for myself. All right. Amen. You, 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 you do know that you can know about God and not know him. You, 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 you do know that you can know things concerning God and not know him. You, 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 you can be in church every Sunday. Sing in the choir, deacon on the deacon board, usher on the door, and still, Lord, I wish I had some help. I said, and still not know the Lord. And I found out that you don't really get to know who God is until you've been through some things Come with on. him. Right. You, you, you don't know who God is until you watch him carry you through that hard task. You don't know who God is until he carries you through that dark situation. You, right. you, you don't know who God is until you watch him carry you through something that, that you watch take other people out. It's in the trying time right. yes. that I realize just who God, anybody in this room can testify with me this morning that it wasn't until they turned my lights off that I learned how to pray. It wasn't until they repossessed my car that I learned how to be faithful. It wasn't until my baby left me that I learned how to lean and depend on the Lord. It wasn't until I went through something. It was not yeah, until I went through some things that I really found out that God is who he said he was. It wasn't until I found myself sick that I found out that he was Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals me. It was not until I found myself in a predicament with the enemy that I found out that he was Jehovah Mechadesh, the Lord, my sanctifier. It was not until I found myself in a position where I didn't have everything that I needed that I found found out that he was Jehovah Jireh, the Lord that provides. It was not until I got into a situation where I had to fight my way out that I found out.